and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a what's in my diaper bag video for my toddler. Um, I made this same video a couple of years ago, but it was for newborns. So if you're here for that, you can click up here. It will take you to the newborn video. Um, before I show you what's in here, um, Obviously, I have a backpack style diaper bag here. Um, we actually have two different diaper bags. We have the backpack style, which is the one that we tend to use the most. And then we just have like a duffel bag kind of style, which I like just as much. So it's really just personal preference. Um, I think it's easier for the dads to carry a backpack. Moms are pretty much used to carrying purses all of the time. Um, so I think the guys tend to like the backpacks more um, just because it's out of the way. But it's totally up to you. I, I don't have like a preference either way. Um, but one thing I will say for the diaper bag um, is make sure it has a lot of pockets and or compartments. So as you'll see here, we have a big front pocket, we have a small front pocket, we have side pockets that are insulated, um, and then we have our big bag part. So um, definitely when you're looking for a diaper bag, you want to make sure it has a lot of those things. Um, also, what you put in your diaper bag is obviously going to change depending on where you are going and how long you're going to be gone for. For example, if you are literally just going out to eat at a restaurant, you probably won't need to pack snacks. You probably won't. Um, if you're going to like any store that has food, you don't necessarily need to pack snacks. Um, but maybe if you're going on like a, a couple hour road trip, you would want to pack snacks. So it just really depends on the situation, how long you're going to be gone. But I'm going to go ahead and shut up about it, show you what I've got in here. So um, also, this, some of the things in here would depend on if you are going to bring a purse or not. I don't really have any of my own stuff in here except for chapstick and eye drops. So um, if I didn't want to bring my purse, I would just move over my wallet, probably put it in this small compartment, and then we would be good. Um, but right now in the current state, we don't have a lot in here. I have my chapstick and eye drops for me and that is literally the only thing I have in this front compartment. In this bottom compartment, Aquaphor. I choose Aquaphor to put in the diaper bag over everything else because it really is just like a universal tool for babies, right? And children. So if they have dry skin, this. If they have a cut, you can use this. If they have a diaper rash, you use this. It is not going to be the perfect thing um, in any of those situations, but it's better than having to bring diaper rash cream and lotion and aquaphor or petroleum jelly. You just have the one thing. It works. <coughs> Excuse me. It works really great for pretty much everything. Sorry, I am recovering from a sickness, and so talking for any period of time at all gets me a little scratchy. So, Aquaphor is our best friend. Um, Grayson tends to get dry cheeks sometimes, so these this is great for that. Um, and then the last thing I have in the front is just Tylenol. Um, he likes the chewable tablets, and when they're a toddler, it's just much easier to give them some candy and instead of having to measure everything out, um, you just give them one of these and it's nice. So we typically have um, either Tylenol or Ibuprofen in here. Okay, um, another thing we have is this little handy dandy tool, which I would highly recommend for any parent of any child of all ages if you're gonna have to use a diaper bag um, and basically these are just 
they're just trash bags essentially for diapers or whatever but of course you can use it for anything so um if your kid has a runny nose and you're having to use 84 wipes on your way to your friend's house or whatever um little trash bag there so it's really nice to have and they are inexpensive so we just have that hooked onto the front um the side pockets I don't have anything in right now um but typically like I said earlier like if we're going on a road trip I would definitely pack snacks so pouches are really great um like the yogurt pouches or the fruit pouches um are really great snacks crackers are really great snacks um, anything like that of course you can choose your own snacks um, and then we open it up and it is not organized whatsoever right now but we've got lots of pockets and everything in here um, one of the most important things is a cup so typically um i think these, these this is a munchkin brand and they're like two dollars at walmart and we love these cups um they don't like the the baby ones basically get where they like pull the liquid all at the top and then it starts leaking um these don't do that and you can just close close it and it's good to go um so we pretty much always put water in here for him and then if we need to stop pretty much every fast food place has white milk or chocolate milk so um, if he's wanting his chocolate milk which is pretty often um, we can just dump the water out put the chocolate milk in here um, but that way like if we don't we're not putting juice or something sticky in here it's just water so Definitely want to bring one of these more often times than not. It's just sitting back there with him, not necessarily in the diaper bag. Okay. And then, of course, diapers and wipes. So whatever diapers and wipes you use. Um, we don't usually use water wipes, but they were laying on the ground over there, so I just picked them up. Um, and then diapers. So a good rule of thumb with diapers is the same rule of thumb that I used when he was a newborn. Um, one diaper for every hour that you're going to be gone. So plan a little bit of ahead. Um, if you're going on a three hour road trip and it's just going to be like three hours total that you're going to be gone, I would pack three diapers. Um, if you're going to be gone for longer, obviously plan accordingly. Um, my kid poops a lot. So we want to be prepared with the diapers and you don't want to be in a situation where you run out. So um, toddlers don't need to be changed quite as often as newborns. Um, but in our situation, sometimes my son just poops so many times in a day. It's crazy. So definitely, definitely, definitely diapers and wipes. And I would recommend to any parent of a child with that's in diapers to have a couple of spare diapers and wipes in your car somewhere for an emergency. So diapers and wipes and then really just outfits. So um, change of clothes because toddlers and children in general are messy. So um, plan according to the weather, of course. I've got an outfit here. Um, honestly, there's probably another whole outfit in here, which I need to take out and probably wash. But yeah, just, um, again, depending on how long you're going to be gone, you know your own child. If they get messy often, you might want to bring a couple outfits. Um, for us, typically we bring one to two outfits for Grayson, including socks, if if he was wearing tennis shoes or something. So that is really it. Um, keep it pretty simple. Honestly, um, most of the time we don't even, like if we're just going out to eat or we're just going to the grocery store um, and we're gonna be gone for a couple of hours, we literally just grab a couple of diapers and some wipes. We don't even bring the diaper bag and then um, we've got a cup for them usually. And then that's it. So um, toddlers are a lot easier um, in that sense than newborns. Um, 
So again, it just kind of all comes down to knowing your child, knowing how long you're going to be gone for, um, and just going from there. Um, the longer I have been a mother, the more I've realized, hey, if we're not going to be at home and I forget something, there are unlimited resources for me to buy whatever I need. Um, so if you're on a road trip, you can stop at a gas station. I'm pretty sure they have diapers and wipes. Um, I'm pretty sure they have children's Tylenol or ibuprofen. Um, pretty often you'll find like a Dollar General in the middle of nowhere. So we tend not to sweat the small stuff anymore and just kind of, you know, fly by the seat of our pants in that sense anyway. So um, that is what we pack in our diaper bag. Um, I will try to find this specific diaper bag. Um, I, we got it at Target. Um, it's by Ergo Baby. I will try to find this specific one and link it below for you. Um, if you're curious, if you want it, it has been a good diaper bag for us. Um, it did come with um, like a changing pad as well, so that was nice. I don't know where that actually is at the moment, because um, we just usually lay them in the back of our car, but you know, you lose things sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, if you are still here, thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!